in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Na dauka kasunanka ubangi ji kaisa yabo na gir mama sunanka ubangi ji ne na dauka kasunanka ubangi ji kaisa yabo na gir mama sunanka ubangi ji with my life ne na dauka kasunanka Ubangi ji kai saya bo na gir mama sunanka Ubangi ji We'll raise your banner high We'll shine your light so bright We'll sing in honor of you I'll raise your banner high I'll shine your light so bright Listen, I submit to you with all humility. I look at my life today and I look at the bits that God has done and is doing in my life and this ministry and it can only be the wisdom of God. I can tell you points in my work with God where I will show you how to tap that wisdom shortly. But when that wisdom comes, like a visitor knocking at your door, you know that with that, vi with that wisdom, victory has come. With that wisdom, a solution has come. Until his word came, the Lord tried him. You remain until the word comes. But when it does come, you have found your way out of any situation. Do you believe what I'm telling you? Because I'm saying that because many of you right now, most of your prayer point is shrouded in one word, confusion. What do I do? How do I, I know what I want? I know what I desire. I know how to move from point A to, uh, I know that I should move from point A to point B. But how in the world am I going to cross this Red Sea? How in the world am I going to leap over a wall? How in the world am I going to run to a troop that midwives where I am and my place of destiny? The answer is found in the wisdom of God. We raise your banner high, I shine your light so bright, I'll sing in honor of you. I will raise your banner high, I'll shine your light so bright. the thousands that are gathered today tens of thousands and many following across the globe ladies and gentlemen what you see happening in this ministry is not just the effort of a man is the simplicity of tapping into wisdom wisdom that is not Sophia wisdom that is not human I remember many listen 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 I have shared with you once upon a time we went for a crusade and the money to even pay the venue to pay the hotel and pay the transport was not there same God same people no wisdom you can call it process no problem all things work together but the missing link was wisdom the wisdom of God we held that crusade that time we're less than maybe less than 50 people can you imagine that less than 50 people thereabout. 
did the best we knew how to do but the missing link was tapping into the wisdom of God. Yet there were visions of nations. Yet there were visions of mighty things. Do you know that in that vision you were there? But how were you going to come? The wisdom of God. Did I know you? Did I know your address? Look the burden I would have to go through looking for you one by one. Leave that to the wisdom of God. The resources you need, the influence you need is hidden in accessing the wisdom of the Spirit. Do you believe what I'm teaching you? I want God to really change your life tonight. It's a miracle service, but you listen. Because many people just shout amen and go back and nothing changes. When I was praying and I heard that freedom, I knew that what most people need is how to access the wisdom of God. I told you, one time the Lord came to me and here was the revelation. He said, son, this is a strategy for you. It's not a strategy for everybody. You would do it and it will not work. Because it is the wisdom of God that is connected to his will for you. That is why blindly copying is a, a recipe for disaster. Hallelujah. And here's what he told me. Carry your teachings. Audio teachings. That time we didn't have any sound to edit. You listen to some of those teachings. You need a lot of endurance. Powerful revelation, but with all kinds of noise, sometimes the volume will go up and down. But that was what we could do at that time. And yet he said, take that teaching. He says, put it online. My angel will take it to the nations. And with it, I will announce you the wisdom of God. That childlike obedience is what has birthed this level of influence that you see today. Now, somebody will blindly go and do that and put everything online and all you will get is an insult from people. And who do you think you are? And people just insult you until you withdraw it back because to you, you are just copying in the flesh. It did not come. That is not the strategy allocated for your victory. Never take any step until you know what God's will is and you have received the wisdom to make what he has said come to pass. God can give you a vision and in that vision you will see a, a duplex. That is God's will for you. He's saying I want to establish you. Let me tell you what most people do. They receive the will and then they choose the strategy by themselves. That is why they fail. So the person gets up and immediately he goes to collect. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. But he goes to collect a loan of 50 million. 100 million and he says I know what I saw God told me now the person did not see a lie but he did not stay with the spirit everything that comes from God to your spirit I am telling you what you see if it's only the will of God that you received the package was not complete there is still another package coming the wisdom connected to his will hallelujah when we came to Abuja You've, you've heard the story. I said these things to inspire you. It's always been a second home. But now coming to do ministry. Lord, how is this going to happen? But those who know God find rest. Anything he says, you are not afraid of the size of what he has said. Because there is a wisdom component that is going to come. The moment it lands, it deflates every difficulty. And I began to pray. Preparing pray and the spirit of God began to search the mind of God when you designed for the next level of koinonia dear father what was the strategy and there it was that file was found in the spirit and when it was opened because he said lo I come as it is written of me in the volume of the book to do your will it was found and the Lord came to me again get the map of Abuja get the map of Nigeria Get the map of Africa and get the map of the world. Begin to pray on it. With childlike faith, I started rejoicing. I kept praying. Pray. That was my assignment. As simple as it is. That was a wisdom. I remember one time, many years in Zaria, the Lord gave me an instruction and I trekked from a very long distance. And all I was doing was just speaking and trekking till I got to some very far distance. And that was the strategy that gave us dominion within that city. Can I tell you, when you meet spiritual men, their pathway does not reconcile with science many times, but you wait and watch the result that comes out of it. 
The Bible says to those who are called, both Greeks and Jews, Christ is the power of God and Christ is the wisdom of God. I began to pray and one thing led to the other. Today, look what God is doing. And this is only the beginning. Hallelujah. By the way, let me apologize. I promised last week that I was going to officially launch, you know, the, the project and the funds. I just decided to be patient to allow those involved. There are still a few things they need to put together. And I thought it was good for them to put everything together before we officially make that announcement. So pardon me. I, I, I even forgot my sincere apologies for those who have been waiting to give. Just be patient. And hopefully when they tidy up everything, want to do everything excellently and then to launch it with understanding. So just keep praying and I'm sure that everything will be tidied up soonest. But, but are we still together? The wisdom of God. So for someone, you can be praying, trusting God to increase your business. And whilst you are praying, the Lord shows you the picture. I want to lift you. I want to bless you. But Lord, how is this going to happen? God can give you an instruction. It can come as the wisdom of God. This is what you call rhema. It's not just a word spoken from God. The wisdom of God allocated. See, the rhema word of God is not applicable to everybody. It is bespoke to you. It comes to you as a solution to whatever predicament. It is the reason why you cannot create doctrines out of it. Because it was a word specified for your situation. You can share and God can give others instruction to obey exactly. That can become a rhema word for them too. But until he speaks, it cannot be called the wisdom of God. Now, can I tell you this? The purpose of studying scripture is not just to see. It's not just to learn. It's that his voice will come out through what you are studying. And he will say something to you from scripture that relates to your now situation. The purpose of prayer, like I'll be teaching you, the Bible says that we have access to the hidden wisdom of God. That when we submit ourselves to prayer, when it is time for miracle service, what I do is I just start praying in the spirit. Every service really, but I'm praying in the spirit. And sometimes there are already impressions in my spirit. Now I plan. But there are times because I do, there are tens of thousands of people. How for God's sake do you know this person's problem? If you are guessing, you will find out that at the end of it, you will guess and you will not bless up to 100 people out of all the people that came. And you keep walking like that, get ready for empty pews because the people who come to you will not be blessed. But you can see sometimes God can give one word of knowledge and you find 20 people come out. This is the wisdom of God. He knows what their problems were. You watch our video while we're in, I think it was in UK or so. One of the phenomenal words of knowledge that God gave. And then the number of people plus the clothes they were wearing. And all of them came carrying that kind of thing. You don't guess that kind of thing. Not in a territory like that. The hidden wisdom of God that was designed for our glory. Father, what do I need to do for the next level of my life? Why is ministry grounded this way? There has to be a way out. The first thing I need you to know is that for any problem you are confronting now, please find a way of convincing yourself that there is a way out. Say there is a way out. Let the devil hear it. Say there is a way out. Yes, sir. You are not the first to go through financial problems, marital problems, problems with children, problems with ministry. All of this, the Bible says the thing that is, is the thing that was and the thing that will be. With respect to the dealings of men, there is nothing new under the sun. Those who walked out of all their challenges received wisdom from God. Others made blind assumptions to their detriment. The gift that God wants to give you tonight is to grant you an understanding to know how to access his wisdom for all things and all matters in your life. And I'm telling you, you would have gotten a key tonight. You walk out, you stand before storms and challenges and you will smile in advance. Even though you don't know the way out, you pity what is standing in front of you because for as long as the wisdom of God arrives, every mountain must be made low. Hallelujah. When it had to do with finances in this ministry, 
with all due respect and to the glory of God, I'd seen ministry struggle and suffer, manipulate people, and I said, God, I vow a vow that I will never manipulate and deceive your people because of the issue of resources. But the truth is that you will need resources to do the work of the kingdom. Being a person of integrity is not enough. It takes integrity and ability. And then he brings a strategy. And to God be the glory for what he's doing today. You see that? When it had to do with the manifestation of the anointing. I remember one time I was praying. Praying and asking God. That was when he took me to that scripture that says follow them who through faith and patience. For me, it did not come as a Bible verse. It came as the wisdom of God. He's saying there's no point inventing the wheel when it has already been invented. There are men who I have worked with. That's when God showed me that the way he distributes graces in the world is that every time he wants to bless a generation, he creates a portal of spiritual possibility through a person and anoints that person by covenant and that person becomes his official distribution system of that grace. Nobody will access that dimension of grace ignoring the position of that individual. Hallelujah. So if you want to step into the healing ministry today, you will be surprised. Even if you are in a village, God will find a way of making you have access to men like Benny Hinn. Even if not directly through their materials, because by the privilege of the election of grace, they have become custodians of the mysteries of the kingdom. When you want to access wisdom, God will make you to have access to men like Dr. Mike Mudok, the true apostle of wisdom living on earth today. Now it is up to you to discern. You can walk in a lot of foolishness and say, I must see Jesus myself. And foolishness will make you to not even be alive before you see him. Are we together? Hmm. There are men who embody certain possibilities. That when you find out that your life, things are going haywire in your life, your prayer life is going down and all of that, there are vessels that when you encounter, I remember one time I gave you the story that I went for a program and they kept me in the guest house in prayer city. When they kept me in that guest house, I waited for everybody to go later when it was in the night. I just sneaked out like an arm robber. And I went to the ground and I said, Father, you give men graces. A place that prays 24 hours non-stop and has been doing it before you were born and they've not stopped till today. There must be a grace there. Father, let that grace land upon this head because there are many things that I need. When I listened to the material of Dr. Mike Mudok, where well, mediocres were busy criticizing, some of us were discerning and judging by the Spirit. And we saw that, you see, the truth is that when God has chosen, He has chosen. Yours is to believe and align or argue and perish. Are we together now? And some of us with the simplicity, knowing the, this dimension of God's wisdom, I started to pursue individuals by the grace of God and by the spirit of God that we're not is one thing to be a career but it's another thing to be God's conduit point of manifesting that possibility hallelujah yeah there are many 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 people Many people who have not tapped into this wisdom as a man of God. You can see every man of God and just believe we're all colleagues. After all, we're preaching. High five, high five. And you greet, share the grace and go back. And no door is opening. I wish I were not the one teaching this. But you see, this is not human worship. I told you one time by the grace of God, I was praying. We had begun to experience increase, but I knew there was a greater level. And the Lord gave me an instruction. He said, soon I will tell you. And when that time comes, you will go and meet God's servant, Bishop Oedeko. And there is something, there is a grace that you are going to receive. I remember that morning, God just told me, this is the day. I got up and I was on my way to Lagos. I carried a seed. You know, there are seeds that when you carry bar. Even the devil cannot stop you. The weight of you, you, he's going to clear the way and say, the kind of determination this man is coming with. Let me attack tomorrow, not today. 
And by the privilege of God's grace, I had the honor of going there, did whatever I had to do. And when I came out, there in Canaan land, the Lord told me, place your hand on the ground. I placed my hand there and he said, from today, you have entered the overflow anointing. Can I tell you, when you carry certain graces, it shows. If you have to tell people you carry it, you don't have it. Are we together? A woman who is nine months pregnant and said, don't play with me, I'm pregnant, is most likely lying. Because even if it's a rabbit you are carrying, at nine months, it will be clear. Am I right on that? The meaning of all this is that in the name of Jesus, whatever has stopped you from moving forward, there is a wisdom that must land on your destiny this night. <laughs> Whilst we're preparing for the building project, I will announce to you, I just said, Lord, building projects of ministries a size like this, I mean, it's going to be so enormous and it is you that grants wisdom. Please, I don't want to ever assume I am still your boy -o. I've not graduated myself to become your colleague. I'm still that boy you found. So come to me as a father and help me. And here was the Lord. Came and brought a strategy. And said with this strategy, absolutely nothing will stop you. And I said, this is it. Absolutely. It's not pride. It's the truth. So you see, those who access the wisdom of God, when you look at them, they will turn around. You will think, what, what exactly about your life produces that result? It is not you. It is something within you and something upon you. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. I carry your mind. Your mind is so full of me. I'm taking out time to teach you. I'm, I'm sure you're surprised that I'm teaching seriously during a miracle service because I want you, this is what God told me. If it's freedom you are looking for, for many of us, what you need to do is to pray and say, Lord, I will wait until it comes. What is the it? Not just the will of God. You already know what is the strategy. Some of you started running without the strategy. You just felt God has called me into ministry. On your mark set, you shot the gun by yourself. Now you've been running in cycles for years. Spiritual men stay till they receive the will and the wisdom. The will and the wisdom. Lord, there has to be a way. Now they've increased school fees. Two times the amount. Three times the amount. Lord, you've given me two children and you gave me 11 others from my relatives. You are the one who asked me to take care of them. There must be a way. Instead of saying, I'm tired, 10 of you are going back to the village and you, you destroy somebody who God was supposed to raise through you. The problem is not the economy. I'm telling you sincerely. The problem is the strategy. You have not received it yet. Lord, what is the strategy for survival? There has to be a way. And in the midst of that prayer, God can give you an instruction. Send a text to this person and just greet him. Don't ask for money. Don't do anything. And you send that text at that point. If you miss that point, you have missed that season. The wisdom of God is God who knows what is connecting. And the person just calls you and says, you, can you imagine? Your feet is ordered by the Lord. Oh, we are in the middle of it. Do you have a job? They say, no. He said, come. NLNG asked me to bring two people. Are you ready to be the first person? And you just say, I, I was lucky. You were not lucky. It was the wisdom of God. It's naive people that call it luck. Do you know, I have taught you how prophecy happens in the life of people. When I speak over your life and say, in the name of Jesus, let doors be open. Once you receive it, the Holy Spirit moves upon your life as the spirit of wisdom. It is the wisdom of God that translates prophecy to become manifestation. The wisdom of God guides you, leads you, brings a feeling in your heart. I should just go and buy bread in the shop. 
Why did you not wait till evening? What is suddenly making you want to go to the mall to buy bread? It's not your desire. It's the wisdom of God in partnership with prophecy. As soon as you get into that mall, here is a manager also shopping. If you were to come to his office, the PA will drive you. But God made you to meet in the mall. And you say, good afternoon, ma. Please, can you help me? And she says, ah, this is the wrong place. But I don't know you collect my number. Listen, let me tell you the truth. If you are waiting for one to add to one to equals two, get ready to suffer in this wicked world. The probability for your rising will be just a little above zero. But tap into the wisdom of God and watch the things that look like coincidences. I have met people today who have become marvelous advantages in my life. Some of them, I remember a man of God who wanted to meet me, true story, or was it a man, a businessman? And he was sitting down and then we were, we were traveling somewhere and all of a sudden I just sit down and this man is saying, praise God. Praise God. He could not believe it. He said, Apostle, let me tell you the truth. I've been praying to meet you and it was very difficult. I knew if I come for Koinonia, it would be difficult. But now you are sitting down near me and for all through this flight, two of us are not going anywhere. Now is the opportunity for the guy. Now It may look like a coincidence, but ask why you were not the one sitting there. Hallelujah. God himself. I told you a story here, a true story. And I'm not encouraging lateness or inefficiency. But someone who woke up late to go, you know, to I think some interview or so. And he woke up late. He was already, he, he already knew that that was over for him. As far as the job is concerned. Do you know that lateness in his sincerity of heart. He was praying and saying, Lord, forgive me. And he gets to the elevator and finds out that the GM was also going up. He came later and he, co he collided with the man. And he started pleading and saying, sir, I'm late. And the man said, no problem. He held his hand and he was the first to get that job. Now, ladies and gentlemen, hear me. I'm not saying you go late, you will not meet any GM. So let's balance this now. I'm speaking to the whole world. Because the Bible said, be careful how you hear. Believers are funny people. They can hear something else while you are shouting another thing. So let me just say it. I'm not encouraging laziness. But I am saying this is how determined God can go to make his wisdom speak for you. If you know this, you will not cry over situations as though there were no hope. Because the Bible says, for we know that all things, it is because of this wisdom that all things can work together. Hallelujah. People have, people have met, collided with miracles in strange places. Hallelujah. Do you believe what I'm telling you? I know a man, true story, who found his business partner at a funeral. They went to bury somebody. And while people were crying, he just sat down and one thing led to the other. They started discussing. Today, those people are very, very wealthy people. Funeral. By the privilege of God's grace, there are people God has granted me the privilege and the honor of helping. And it was in strange places, strange circumstances brought them to my life. He will not suffer my foot to be Carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so full of me. You'll be surprised that there's someone who should help you and the man will vow and say in the name of Jesus I will never never help you then one day the person suddenly starts feeling pain somewhere and they tell the person look the only person within reach to help you is that man you say you don't want to see you don't want to see him but he's carrying an anointing that you need and then I've taught you that every man's need is his point of contact. They will invite you. And by the time God uses you, you were to beg the man for 100,000. But the man gives you 10 million to say thank you for healing me. Do you believe what I'm teaching you? 
Listen, it's time for you to shake away this level of your life. Make up your mind that, Lord, I'm tired of dwelling in this realm. The wisdom that I need. I'm tired of being poor. I'm tired of being broke. I'm tired of being limited. I'm tired of the pain in my heart. Being afraid of coming out in the morning because I do not have resources or I do not know what to do. I am your son. I am your child. I didn't birth myself here on earth. Lord, I give you room to take responsibility as Abba Pata over my life. Let your wisdom come and redefine the next season of my life. You may be a man of God. Stop trying to copy things just because you see it working for others. You will copy and waste money and get into trouble. Lord, grant me wisdom. You are the one who gave me this ministry. What is the secret? What is the strategy? As great as this ministry is, can you imagine that until now, we do not hold conferences and conventions. I'm not daft. I've read a lot of books about church planting. We have a lot of people we have raised by the Spirit of God who are doing great things for the kingdom. I'm not ignorant, I tell you, as to what it makes ministry work. I don't claim to know everything, but by the privilege of God's grace, God has granted us access to the ears and the eyes and the heart of those who know how to make this thing work. Yet, his wisdom, God gave an instruction do not hold conferences, do not hold conventions until I speak to you. And not the size of the ministry will make me ever disobey him. Until he came and said, go and do a conference in UK. I want to glorify myself through you. And look what he did. You see, let me tell you, the part of a spiritual man is very strange. Except that you cannot deny the results. You cannot deny the results. You cannot deny the results. You are a man of God. God can be leading you. You are raising others and sending them to ministry. And for you, God will say, do not start any work. Sit down. And you will feel insulted. Because if you had started ministry, you will be 10 years, 20 years, having a great ministry. People that you have raised may even be doing great. And God says, sit down. You just obey him all and stay. Watch what his wisdom keeps doing in your life. One step after the other one step after the other for some of you while you want to go somewhere god will give you a scripture and isaac sowed in that land oh abuja is too difficult i need to run away let me go back to my village and god will say no your destiny is here you can choose to disobey me or you can stay here and believe me there is something i want to teach you it's not a job i cannot give you but i am using your situation to train you there is something you need to become you need to know me as jaira Hallelujah. And sometimes you will stay. No food in the morning. But you are just praying. You are not irresponsible. Your certificate is there lying. And you are praying. Lord, listen. Can I tell you? Every time you are tempted to complain. Turn your complaint to this prayer. Lord, birth your will through this situation. You have defeated that situation. Birth your will through this situation. Oh, I lost a loved one. This was the breadwinner in our family. Lord, what do we do now? I'm teaching you something. Birth your will through this situation. It's an ancient formula that God taught me. You don't see me praying prayers of lamentation and saying, God, why now? <clears throat> the prayer of spiritual men is, Lord, birth your will. Whether it's through your pain, whether it's through your disappointment, whether it's through your loss, whether it's through your victory. Anything you connect to the will of God no longer becomes a disadvantage. Anything, including death. You lost your loved one, father, mother, brothers, and you are there. Instead of just praying and saying, you know what, God, stop this senator from sleeping. That is witchcraft. Don't pray that kind of prayer until you know what you are saying. Why shouldn't the man sleep? He has a wife and children. Are we together? There are conditions where you pray that prayer. Most of these prayers are prayers of immaturity and selfishness and lust. You pray that I shouldn't sleep for your sake. If you mean the work of a shepherd to get up and pray. It's none of your business the time I wake up and pray for you. Just know I'm praying for you. But where you now instruct God that I should not sleep. Yeah, that, that's an antichrist spirit. I'm saying that so we are careful some of these things that we say. I know what you mean. Give him no rest. I understand what you mean. But as you rise to maturity, you need to also hear what you are saying. 
And if what you are saying is not correct, keep quiet, re-edit your understanding. Are we together? Yeah. The hidden wisdom of God. 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 Ordained for your glory. Ah. Ordained for your glory. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to trust me. Trust what I'm teaching you. This is how ordinary men become champions. How else do you think men rise? You cannot manipulate your way politically to, be, to fulfill destiny. Destiny is not politics. No. Destiny is beyond the academia. The variables required for a man's excelling are many. You need the wisdom of God to piece them together to produce victory in your life. One can say yes and another variable can say no and your life is pegged at a, a point for many, many decades. Hallelujah. I believe with all my heart that one of the things that God is doing tonight is giving us profound encounters by the Spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. I want to do something very prophetic now and I want you to listen. This will usher us into our prayers. If I don't get, I will pray for the sick and pray for everybody, but it will be a quick walk tonight. But I want you to listen. Hallelujah. I went to the place of prayer and while I was praying, as I heard the word freedom, I was meditating, meditating, meditating in my spirit and then all of a sudden, I know when that glory comes, that Shekinah just came and mantled me and covered me. I started shaking like a leaf and all of a sudden, I found myself singing a song. I started uttering words and songs songs by the spirit and i said what is the meaning of this the song just began to come by the spirit and god told me that it is with this song that he's going to do many things this night to tell you how serious it is i'm even going to have to play the song to remember it i wrote it down and i sent to these guys and so that you don't think that this is something that is, is i had to do a rehearsal and I told myself, I said, what is this? And the Lord said, I want to impart, I want to give my people the gift of wisdom. I want you to know how God works. You see, you are a spiritual man. You need to learn to discern. We are organized people, but many people cannot get into prophetic things because you do not know that songs are ladders in the spirit. Sit down, sit down. I've, I've not, listen, I'm going to play it for you. This is, I don't even, until I play it, I may not even remember it. This is before the whole world. This is me recording. Where, I don't know where this volume is. Watch this. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hold on, just a moment. So here's what it sounds like. This was under the anointing by the Spirit of God. I'm going to sing it now for you. You just listen. I receive the manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive. Hallelujah. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe upon my life. Breathe, Lord.
single song it says breathe lord breathe breathe lord breathe breathe upon my life now listen i receive i manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see jesus lifted up exalted i receive i manifest your power your wisdom till the nations see jesus lifted up glorified say breathe lord breathe lord Fast your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Say, exalted, 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 exalted. Is a prayer. Will you breathe, Lord? Breathe, breathe, Lord. Breathe, breathe upon my life. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up. Exalted, I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom to the nations. See Jesus lifted up, exalted. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. That's your prayer now. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe. 
Shema Salia Barada. Sing, breathe, Lord. Manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. Lifted up, glorified till the nations see Jesus. Lifted up, one last time now. Say, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord. my hands in the name that is above all names there are men and women who will drink of this fountain right now I decree and declare I want you to pick them and bring them out very quickly father you gave me this song by the spirit and you said upon singing it the spirit of wisdom and power will rest upon many for their destinies therefore I stretch my hands at the count of three may this fountain break open one now take that grace now bring them out take that grace now take that grace now breathe lord Jesus, lift it up, 
exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe upon my heart in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare every altar that has tied your destiny down I want you to bring them out as God breathes right now some of you a physical wind will blow towards you and in the name of Jesus every ordinance of darkness must give way now Satan by the breath of the Spirit let God's people go now let God's people go now let God's people go now Bring them out. Shalakatos. Ancestral causes. Yokes of darkness. Spirits of bondage. Familiar spirits that have tied down destinies. I decree and declare. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. I receive. I manifest. Your power. Your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest, I manifest your, power, your power, your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up. The Lord is showing me, I'm, I'm seeing a revelation and the Lord is telling me that there is a spirit that has held on to women, women in many families, their destiny is not just maritally, it has tied everything in their life. In the name of Jesus, as my God breathes upon this congregation, every daughter of Abraham who has been bound by witchcraft, be released now, be released now. Be released now! Be released now! Elama shabakas kobarakosiata, egra kapaskalika parusiata. Every destiny that has been tied down by witchcraft, at the count of three, you're going to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout that name, that devil must let you go. I like you to be sensitive. Koinonia, are you ready? My father, I pray that by the mystery of this, your wisdom, let the bound be free now. At the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, three. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. Edge long captivities. Be released. Be released. Ah. Be released. Exalted. 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 about to breathe upon those trusting God for employment I'm hearing this in my spirit that those who are trusting God to open career doors right now I stretch my hands let the breath of the spirit rest upon you at the count of three father where are they men and women who must testify of your mighty hand may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Receive, manifest his wisdom, his power. 
receive, manifest his wisdom, his power. Receive, manifest his power, his wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up. Exalted till the nations see Jesus. Who is Gabriel? I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Please, I want you to be sensitive. God is doing a quick walk. Is there someone called Gabriel? Very quickly, I want to speak to you. And then I'm hearing the name Hosea. Who is Hosea? H-O-S-E-A. I'll, I'll soon pray for those in front. There is an impartation that is happening. Who is Hosea? Your name is Hosea. Where are you coming from? My name is Gabriel, sir. Gabriel, who is Hosea? I'm hearing a name Hosea. The Lord is saying he wants to bring an end to captivity in the family of Hosea. Father, in the name of Jesus, I am praying. Is that the, that's the name of your baby? Gabriel, I will pray for you. Father, I stretch my hands. Para shola ka sega besiata kranti gele su kaparia kaparosa sega de shiata baskubras I'm hearing that I should prophesy that it returns to you This is not to these guys I'm here I don't know what was taken from you but the Lord is saying I should prophesy therefore I declare everything that left you that should not have left by this anointing it returns now it returns now it returns now. 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 Hosea, I stretch my hands. Every demonic thing that has tied your family. I'm seeing the spirit of death in the family of Hosea and the Lord is saying I should avert that spirit because it comes in circles. It will come, then it will stay. The help them please. Then it will come back again. I stand by this mantle tonight and I decree and declare that every spirit that is not of the Christ, let it leave the family of Hosea now. Let it leave the family of Hosea now. That is God's mandate for us tonight. It is amazing how God works. The wisdom of the Spirit. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone, you are a lawyer. The power of God is coming upon you now as I speak. And the Lord is saying I should tell you that the season of shame is over. You are a lawyer. You are a lawyer in the name of Jesus. Help that person at the back. In the name of Jesus for that lawyer. Captivity comes to an end now. The Lord is asking me to, re to rebuke a pattern that has followed many families. It's a pattern of cancer. All the people go ahead of you right now. There are currently people who have cancer. Everybody's like a string. That's what kills people in the family. I don't know who belongs to such a family. But here at this miracle service, the spirit that kills men through the guise of cancer, it dies right now. It dies right now. It dies right now. Hallelujah. You're going to sing this song two times. Just the brief part. You just do what I'm asking you to do. At the end of this, the second time when you sing it, please hear me. I'm going to pray for the sick. We'll work with time. But at the second time, the moment you sing it, I'm hearing the cry of babies. Listen. And the Lord is saying, and I want, I'm saying it in the open. The Lord is saying one of the miracles that will begin to manifest in this ministry is extraordinary fruitfulness. People that have been trusting God for children for a long time. I want you to know that this is your prophetic word. It's not a song. It's not a song. Are you ready now? Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Say. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe upon my life. Trust 
blessing God for the fruit of the womb. Lay your hands, whether for you or for someone, you can stand for someone. You are a man, you can stand for your wife. I want to make this declaration. God does not lie. In the name of Jesus, the gates of fruitfulness that has been locked up either by witchcraft. My God, I'm just seeing fire. Burning things that look like threads. In the name of Jesus Christ, at the instruction of the Spirit, I decree and declare koinonia here in Abuja and across the globe all those trusting God for the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus Christ receive your miracle children receive your miracle children receive your miracle children in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me an impartation that he's doing now is an impartation of the grace for teaching a prophetic dimension of the teaching grace this is not for everybody I don't know why God will interrupt the thing like this but I stretch my hands the grace of a teacher may that grace rest upon you right now the grace of a teacher may that anointing mantle you wherever you are you are a man of God here, I decree and declare the capacity to draw wisdom from the word. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Now hear me, ladies and gentlemen. One of the ways that we draw the wisdom of the spirit is when we engage in prayer even praying in the spirit when we begin to pray in the spirit you are not just sounding and bringing gibberish you are giving the holy spirit room to search the mind of the father and he will bring to you this is how this song came this is how many other things can be transported from the realm of the spirit i want to declare there is a baptism that god wants to do now is a baptism of fire that will help men pray where they are but from the north to the south east to the west all over this auditorium there are people who need to draw forth wisdom from the spirit the grace and the mantle for prayer that will cause you to pray and press into realms until you access wisdom may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now May that grace rest upon you now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's someone you came here. You could not move your neck very well. I want you to check yourself now. The power of God has touched you. You are wearing like green or lime, something like that. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. Is there someone like that? Come. Come. Where? Why are they clapping? Check yourself and come. A miracle has happened to you now. Breathe, Lord. Breathe, Lord. Breathe, Lord. Breathe, Lord. Upon my life. Sing, breathe, Lord. I manifest your power, your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power. Your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. Madam, you have a problem. What, what, did, what was the problem? For some times now, I've been feeling hotness in this side of my body. Just today, the team moved. Madam, look at me. I want, look at me. I want to pray for you so that will save time. I'm seeing that the devil brought stroke 
this thing would have led to stroke. You've been feeling half of you. It's as if you feel numbness yes. sometimes. Yes, yes. I want you to stand up. Yes. Check your neck now. Move it. Don't be afraid. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Move it. Any pain. Look at this. Any pain. In the name of Jesus, that devil of darkness that has brought stroke to your body, we command it back to hell where it came from. Back to hell where it came from. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, look at me. I want to pray for you. I'm not a prophet of doom. But I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you inside a coffin. And the Lord is saying to bring you out of there. I use Mama as a point of contact. Anyone who has been buried in the spirit. That is only a matter of time. Believe me, I know what I'm seeing that makes me say what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus. Anyone who has been buried in the spirit. I declare, come out of that demonic coffin now. Come out of that demonic coffin now. Help my mother. I stretch my hands, mama. In the name that is above all names, you will not die. Hence, God has brought you here tonight. We forbid you from untimely death. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me a family from Edo State. And the Lord is telling me that the power of God is coming upon you. There is a very strange manifestation of witchcraft. Witchcraft that does not allow people rise. This is Edo State. In the name that is above all names. I pray for whoever that person is as may, be, as may apply wherever you are. In the main auditorium, all the overflows are following online. That demonic spirit that comes as a result of territory by the power that raised Christ from the dead be delivered now. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm not a prophet of doom. And I'm usually very careful to make announcements like this. But I'm hearing in my spirit now. And the Lord is saying, announce it openly. The Lord is asking me to pray for one of the senators in this country that he will not fall and go the way of the grave. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a prophet of doom. I don't come out to waste my time. I have serious things to do. So it's not, I would not speak like this if God did not put it in my heart. I fear God, but I also respect myself. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, hence God has revealed it. We pray for all our serving senators. If there is anyone that the devil wants to bring to the grave, by the mercies of God, we decree and declare, may they be preserved. Yeah. By the mercies of God, may they be preserved. Yeah. One of these, my ushering ladies, I know you people are walking, but the power of God is coming on one of you. God is saying the prayer you have been praying for a long time, that he has brought answers to it. The prayer you have been praying for a long time. The prayer you have been praying for a long time. Even though you are ushers, you are serving. But God is saying the prayer you have been praying for a long time that he's bringing answers to it. The prayer you have been praying for a long time. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare as God is touching them, every long-standing prayer point that you have written and written and written and written again, may my God arise and breathe upon that prayer right now. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord is asking me to pray against kidnapping for a particular family. Just lend me a few minutes and we'll be done. It's a very influential family. I'm seeing people conspire and kidnapping this person and asking for a ransom of over 100 million in the name that is above all names. Anybody who wants to kidnap and kill anybody, this one, I'm the one praying, quarter to that time, may the earth open and swallow them. I say it again, I stand as a man of God that anybody conspiring to get any, may the earth open and swallow them. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the earth open and swallow them. Hallelujah. Place your hand anywhere you are trusting God for healing. 
I want to speak over your life now. All those in front here, there is a woman, Kai, I want to pray for you. Um, because what you, are, what you think is just a lump and pain, I want to cause it. I'm seeing a manifestation and this is something that is cancerous. And the Lord wants me to rebuke it. You just think it's just a lump. But this thing is the devil wanting to put. I hope you know that cancer is a spirit. Do you know that? Please believe it. Any daughter of Abraham here. That the devil has planted any satanic thing in your body. I stand by the God who sent me for your sake. I decree and declare tonight cancer dies from your body. 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 In the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Father, anyone here who is sick, you came with a sick person, you can release your faith. And I know that many hospitals graciously follow the miracle service. All the hospitals that are following right now, you can just allow the patients to make contact just by stretching their hands. Or if the patients are unconscious, you can leave them. The loved ones who are there with them can stand. I'm about to pray. We want to release healing to the nations and to release it here right now. Please, I want you to believe healing is real. I am a product of the healing ministry of Jesus. I pray right now, every spirit that is back of any infirmity, it does not matter the name, the form, the fashion, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare that spirit leaves your body now. That spirit leaves your body now. That spirit leaves your body now. Right now I decree and declare, be healed in the name of Jesus. Blood conditions be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Pile be healed now. All kinds of growths in your body, I command them to die now. Any abnormality in your body, drying up your bones, drying up your blood, be healed from it now. Yes. HIV be healed. Yes. Diabetes be healed. Yes. Arthritis be healed. Yes. Blindness be healed. Yes. Deafness be healed. Yes. Pile be healed. Yes. Kidney problems be healed. Yes. Liver problems be healed. Heart conditions be healed. Children with autism be healed. Migraine headaches be healed. Cataracts be healed. Glaucoma be healed. Colon cancer be healed. Prostate cancer be healed. Lung cancer be healed. Bone conditions be healed. Amen. Joint problems be healed. Amen. You are here and your SS genotype, we change it now in the name of Jesus. Amen. There's someone you've been suffering a problem of indigestion. I don't know what it is, but it looks like some kind of gastrointestinal problem. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I stretch my hands now and I decree and declare, may the power of God touch you right where you are. Touch you right where you are. Touch you right where you are. Now I want to pray for someone I'm seeing in the spirit. Both men and women, from the family you come from, there is a spirit. I'm not asking you to come out. This is the spirit of drunkenness. You love God, oh, but you cannot see alcohol. It's not like whether you are good or bad. I want to pray for you because that thing you see can kill. I'm praying for you. First, the mercy of God, where you have roasted your liver, roasted parts of your body because of consuming some of these poisonous things. May God show you mercy. And then I am praying right now. Please take it seriously. 
I cause the spirit of alcoholism. Let it die now in the name of Jesus Christ. And then the Lord is asking me to pray for a family. I can imagine that many families will be connected to this prayer, but particularly, I want to pray for a family that has suffered abject poverty. This is a wicked spirit. Going to school or not going to school does not seem to matter because these are forces that have tied down the family and they love God. In Jesus' name, I cry to the Lord God of heaven, the one who created and made for this convergence, any family that has been down by the spirit of poverty, I come in the volume of the book as it has been written in the name of Jesus as one sent by the Spirit and I declare may that Spirit be banished from your family. May that Spirit be banished from your family. Hallelujah. Banished from your family. Now very quickly we are going to sing this song as a prophetic song. Sing any part you can remember. While we are singing it, please collect the prayer request. Let's just walk with the foolishness of God's wisdom and watch what happens to you. Hallelujah. Write your prayer request very quickly and we are going to sing this song as they present it here before the Lord. And I assure you that by the God of heaven, you will watch the wonder that will happen. Those outside, those inside, you can submit your prayer request. If your, if your request has not been collected, just wave it, let the usher see it very quickly. Now you pass it to the last, the aisle by the left or right. No one will read it, don't worry. Just pass it so that quickly, if you are yet to write a few things, please release your faith. Let me give you a minute. And those who are following from across the nations, write your request very quickly. This is the time when God will be visiting people mightily. You came here. Make sure that your faith is enlarged. Hallelujah. Have you learned the song now? Or do we need to do any rehearsal again?
see Jesus lifted up, exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up. Turn it to a prayer now, everyone. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Say, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Let it be your prayer tonight. Say, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe. When this song came to me by the Spirit, that was why I recorded it as you heard. I prayed it and prayed it and prayed it in my life. Most people have no idea what happens to a man when God breathes upon you. It's like a hen. You know how a hen sits on her eggs? And those eggs hatch and become young chicks that will also become big hens. So when you say breathe, you're saying, Lord, let your breath. His breath is powerful. It parted the Red Sea. It was the breath of God that came upon the bones in the valley of Ezekiel and turned those bones to become an exceeding great army. So as we pray over these requests, you are saying breathe. We are asking him. It's not the kneeling down of Joshua Selman that makes these prayers to be answered. God gave this song as a prophetic song to the body of Christ. This is not just to koinonia. That's going to be our prayer. Please submit your requests very quickly. We are going to sing this song one twice. Once, twice and then I speak over this request. And then I will turn the song to a prophecy and rain it upon your spirit according to Isaiah 32 verse 15 that until the spirit is poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness is counted for a fruitful vine and the fruitful vine is counted for a forest receive manifest his power his wisdom receive manifest his power his wisdom receive manifest his power his wisdom let me prophesy receive manifest his power his wisdom Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted, receive, manifest his power, his wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up. in genesis 8 verse 1 and 2 the bible tells us that when it was time to put an end to the flood the bible says verse 2 that god caused a strong wind verse 1 now I believe that God caused a strong wind 
to pass over the earth so the breath of God can blow away unfavorable things it's not only life when you are saying breathe upon me you are saying Lord breathe upon everything let shame go as you breathe let reproach go as you breathe let everything that is not of God a cupboard the name that have been named people have mocked your God you are saying Lord breathe upon me and for some of you who are saying there is no life in me I don't even have hope to move forward you are saying breathe life into me you are still going to sing this song now you sing it with revelation as I prepare to pray the breath of God Ruach Numa the wind of the spirit I prophesied as I was commanded he said and there was a sound a sound and he said son of man prophesy to the four winds and say all wind breathe upon this lane and the wind came upon the bones and there arose an exceeding great army sing the song one last time with understanding in your heart breathe Lord
covenant that you will arise in power that you will arise in glory that you will arise as a mighty warrior that you are and breathe upon this request breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus that everything that has been written here by the power that raised Christ from the dead let it be turned into a testimony turned into a testimony turned into a testimony turned into a testimony for some of you it arrives Monday for some Tuesday for some tonight in the name of Jesus Christ speed to answers by the Spirit of the Living God speed to answers by the Spirit of the Living God speed to answers by the Spirit of the Living God and hear me every human agent who needs to partner with the Spirit of God to make for answers to this request in the name that is above all names wherever they are by the power of the prophetic we call them to your life now I call them to your life now therefore I stand upon this request and I declare these Egyptians that you see today may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now I feel led to do this we're wrapping up in one minute I felt stirred in my heart the one thing you want God to do for you I know you wrote a lot of things here but I'm releasing my faith with you the one thing there may be many things but there might be one thing you are crying and saying Lord visit me you are the only one who knows whether you are outside in the next two minutes please I want you to pray I'm releasing my faith with you and you will watch the God of wonder surprise you you go shake away unbelief and go ahead and pray impossible situations don't ask for something that can cheaply be answered ask for something that you know the answer of will be pivotal to the advancement of your destiny go ahead and pray I release my faith as one sent I release my faith by the Spirit of grace go ahead and pray remember that everything about our lives are connected to his will this is why we pray with confidence for the Bible says this is the confidence that we have that when we ask anything according to his will we know that he hears us please go ahead and pray receive manifest receive manifest receive manifest receive keep praying manifest receive manifest receive manifest his power his wisdom his power his wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted Lord we receive answers outside inside across the nations of the earth we receive answers tonight by the Spirit of the Living God. Answers of wisdom, answers of favor, answers of restoration, answers of speed, answers of establishment, answers of fruitfulness, 
answers of breakthroughs answers of higher realms answers of superior dimensions answers of open doors answers of open gates answers of open heavens in the name of Jesus Christ Koinonia hear me in the name of Jesus for the remaining months of this year September ending October November December may my God who is also your God do a speedy walk in your life do a speedy walk in your life a speedy walk in your career a speedy walk in this nation a speedy walk in your family in the name of Jesus Christ I pray over these hands that are lifted in the name of Jesus you have lifted it up it will not go down you have lifted it up you will not go down everything that looks like shame and reproach in the name of Jesus Christ I tear it like a curtain from your life hallelujah hallelujah listen to me we are what we are like Paul said because of the abundance of the grace that he has placed upon our lives and everything that he has placed is transferable to those who desperately and genuinely need it I pray for you all the time and I release many graces but let me just do one I will still keep crying this grace for visibility because it matters that the nations know you are there if you do not have the grace for visibility you can be gifted you will still remain in shame remain in reproach let me tell you when the grace for visibility locates you it does not matter where you are men will find you systems will find you governments will find you and exalt you I am a beneficiary of this grace I know what it can do therefore I pray for you my dear people from the depth of my spirit in the name of Jesus may this mantle for visibility that stops you from being close that stops you from being mediocre and dejected once again and for some in higher proportions let it land upon your destiny now let it rest upon your destiny now upon your ministry now upon your career now upon your children upon your spouse in the name of Jesus finally every point of contact you came with I see people lifting materials lifting passports for others lifting photos of loved ones I see people lifting medical bills or medical reports I see people lifting all kinds of things provided your faith has agreed that that material is a point of contact I stand and I call upon the God who has sent us who has anointed us and distinguished us by his grace in the name of Jesus let every point of contact you have lifted whatever needs to happen to that point of contact to make you laugh I decree and declare may it happen this week may it happen not next week may it happen this week 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 in the name of Jesus Christ where they rejected you let this grace rest upon you go back again in the name of Jesus Christ hear me koinonia any man who fights you beginning from today on account of what you carry goes down immediately these are not empty words let me repeat it again that on account of what you carry that any man who fights you because of where God has placed you I'm calling upon the God of vengeance that in the name of Jesus Christ they go down immediately suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm anybody who will not give you peace who has made up his mind that under their watch you must cry I call upon the God of Jeshurun the one who rides upon the wings of the wind may he arise for you as a God of vengeance 
may he arise for you as a God of vengeance in the name of Jesus Christ my Bible says now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means in the name of Jesus Christ I taught you that honor is the ability to not only be recognized but to be rewarded to match your true worth I want to speak that because some of you it's not like you are not being rewarded but you are not being rewarded to match your sacrifice intellectually spiritually and otherwise in the name of Jesus may my God by this mantle compensate you for every year of this favor When Laban cheated Jacob and turned his wages once and again, there was a compensation system for Jacob. It was Jacob that gave birth to Joseph and one Joseph wiped his tears and brought him consolation forever. Became a prime minister in Egypt and reigned, preserved God's people till he died. I'm praying for you where you have been trodden upon cheated manipulated whether career wise or otherwise i'm saying it again may the god of justice in this season not only vindicate you but compensate you in the name of jesus christ wave your hands to jesus and give him all the praise wave it as an offering as you are waving it, you are saying goodbye to every demonic thing, every satanic thing that does not name the name of Christ. You are waving it prophetically. Goodbye to shame, goodbye to reproach, goodbye to yesterday in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now please allow me to make the altar call. My apologies for stretching you beyond today. You can see that it was a prophetic service. You are in this place. For your sake, we are going to steal out a minute or two in this service to ensure that you make it right with Jesus. Jesus is the wisdom of God. Jesus is our redemption. You are in this place and you are saying, Apostle, if you will give me a chance in this prophetic atmosphere, I want to make it right once and for all with Jesus. Or you are saying, I want to rededicate my heart, my life to Jesus. I don't want you to wait until anybody comes. You be the first with boldness and with seriousness. Come and stand here. Let's celebrate them. They are coming. Young and old, male or female, are you coming? Give them a big, big hand clap as they come. Let's encourage them. He wants to breathe upon your life. Don't sit back when the Holy Spirit is telling you you should be here. Come, come, come. He wants to build you tonight. Just a minute. We are staying back for your sake. Receive, manifest his power, his wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Till the nations come see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Please, if you're joining them, make it very fast because I'm about to lead them to pray. You're coming, please double up. We just have a minute for you. And please, for those who are coming from outside this place, allow them to double up their steps so that we can wrap up. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, brothers and sisters, for coming out to make this noble decision. You have seen the hand of God. You've seen what he is able to do. May I request that you lift your right hand high above your head and say this after me as loud and as clear as you can. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I have seen your power. I declare that I cannot help myself, but I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive you into my heart as my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that the power 
of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight, I am a child of God forever and ever. Amen. Keep your beautiful hands lifted as I pray for you. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain